Players are wearing headbands, leg sleeves, elbow pad. <laughs> Greetings and welcome back for another edition of the Basketball Rules Expert. The show where we take National Federation of High School Basketball Rules, lift them off the printed page, breathe life into them, simplify, clarify, and give them back to you in an audiovisual format that brings the rules to life and you can take with you onto the basketball court. Hi again, my name is Greg Austin with abetterofficial.com. We craft video to help basketball officials get better and take control of their officiating career. I've been officiating high school basketball for over a decade, and I am a basketball rules expert. The purpose of this show is to help you on your journey to become a basketball rules expert as well. If you're a basketball official who's interested in getting better, you are in the right place. Our video content will help you on your journey. As we approach the 2020 season, we're going to be producing content two times a week hit subscribe below and the notification bell so you don't miss anything. With that, I'd like to say thank you to supporters of the show, Young Yip, Tony Burt, and Mike Wong. Tony and Mike are super supporters of the show. And I'd just like to say a heartfelt thank you. If you want to support the show, you can buy us a coffee at abetterofficial.com slash coffee. Today we'll get started with an email I received from DeAndre. It goes like this. Greg, I love the rules videos. These are very helpful to a young official like me. Something I've gotten conflicting opinions about is color restrictions on sleeves, headbands, and all the stuff that the players wear. Can you explain in easy to understand terms what color restrictions are on players' equipment? Thanks again for the videos. You are definitely helping me become a better official. DeAndre, thank you. That's what this show is all about, helping officials get better. And it's great to get that feedback. All right, so that's what we'll do today. It's actually National Federation of High School. It's super simple if you think about it the proper way. So let's get started with today's video on team members, equipment, and apparel. As basketball officials, we are put in the position to be the fashion police. Players are warming up on the court. Shooting shirts come off. All of a sudden, we have issues, right? Undershirts are the incorrect color. Arm sleeves, headbands don't match, etc. We try to take care of that the best we can. It's not the most enjoyable part of our job. But let's be super clear on what the rules are so that we're not giving erroneous information to a team, making them take things off, put things on, etc. And then the next night, the other officials on the next crew tell them something completely different. Let's get it right. This is the way I like to explain it. First of all, what has color restrictions? What items have color restrictions? Number one, first and foremost, the undershirt. Think of the undershirt as an extension of the jersey. Players wearing a black jersey, if they wear an undershirt, it must be black. Players wearing a blue jersey, if they're wearing an undershirt, it must be blue. Undershirt, extension of the jersey, by rule, must be the same solid color as the predominant portion of the jersey. Right? So undershirts are always associated with the jersey. They're not associated with any of the other things, headbands, wristbands, arm sleeves, etc. They're in their own category by themselves. Now, let's move on to a whole catalog of equipment that is grouped together in what I call the package. And if you think about it that way, things get a lot simpler. So let's talk about what's in the package. A headband. Players wear headbands. Female players wear headbands a lot. Players with a lot of hair wear headbands. A headband is defined as circular. 
goes completely around the head. By completely around the head, that means that if there's skull on the inside of the circle, it's a headband by rule. Whether that's a three inch wide absorbent piece or whether that's rolled up pre-wrap just to you know control some loose hair. Players are allowed to wear one headband and it's part of the package. Let's move on. Wristbands, not as popular these days, but can be up to four inches in width. Can wear one per arm, must be worn below the elbow, and it's part of the package. Let's talk about sleeves, shooting sleeves. Sleeve with a pad on the elbow or just a straight up elbow pad. All of these the items that go on the arm are all part of the package. Let's move on to the legs. Tights or compression shorts that extend below the hem of the shorts are part of the package. Anything worn on the leg. Padded knee sleeve, leg sleeve, calf sleeve, all of these things are part of the package. What are the color restrictions for items in the package? This is the important part. All items in the package for each participant in the game must be the same color. That's the simplicity. All items, all participants for a team in the game must be the same color. Those colors can be black, white, beige, or the predominant color of the torso of the jersey. So, if teams wearing red, the items in the package can be red, black, white, or beige, by rule. So, players are wearing headbands, leg sleeves, elbow pad, one kid has a shin uh, sleeve, Two players are wearing tights, all legal by rule, but they all have to be the same color. And that color has to be either black, white, beige, or the predominant color of the jersey. Obviously, the home team must wear white. Their jerseys must be white. So their choices are going to be black, white, or beige. Because white is the predominant color of the jersey. Right? Super simple. So if something stands out, well, that's part of the package. She's wearing tights. She's wearing red tights. Everybody else has black wristbands, headbands, arm sleeves, etc. The tights are the, what stands out and must be removed in order for the player to participate. It's also important to understand that if a player has something that does not comply with the rules, color restrictions... There is no penalty other than participation. The player may not participate wearing the items that don't conform. Once they do conform, remove an item, cover an item, etc., they are legal to participate and there's no penalty. Okay, so now we know what's in the package. Headband, wristband, arm sleeve, elbow pad, elbow sleeve, leggings that extend below the hem of the shorts, tights, knee sleeves, leg sleeves, etc. Those are all part of the package. All right, now let's discuss what does not have color restrictions. We know what does have color restrictions, what does not have color restrictions. Number one, first and foremost, braces. A brace does not have a color restriction. What is a brace? By rule, it's usually neoprene or stiff fabric that's meant to support joints. We have knee braces, ankle braces. Oftentimes, they will have inserts, either metal inserts or stiff plastic inserts to provide support may have an opening on the kneecap if the device is made for support 
it is a brace by rule does not have any color restrictions whatsoever hair control devices we know that a headband goes around the head and within that circle formed by the headband there's some skull hair control device just goes around hair just goes around a ponytail just goes around hair hair control devices by rule do not have color restrictions a player could wear 10 12 15 hair control devices legal by rule a player may only wear one headband by rule in addition headgear if a player has an exemption from the state and is allowed to wear religious headwear no color restriction if a player has a medical exemption and can wear a concussion piece of headgear you know padded to help prevent concussions or future concussions no color restrictions for this special headgear that players are allowed to wear super important as well there's no color restrictions on tape a player may be wearing a black arm sleeve but they have a wrist problem and their wrist has been taped with athletic tape white athletic tape it really stands out but tape has no color restrictions now super popular is kinesiology tape which can you know form elaborate patterns around the shoulder around the knee elbow arms etc kinesiology tape has no color restrictions tape has no color restrictions obviously shorts socks shoes no color restrictions by rule all right quick review what has color restrictions obviously undershirts have color restrictions they are an extension of the jersey must be the same color as the predominant color of the jersey absolute 100 percent is it in the package no it's separate what's in the package what are these pieces of apparel that all participants must have the same color equipment what are they headbands by rule wristbands arm sleeves pads elbow pads sleeve with a pad anything on the arm on the legs compression shorts that extend below the hem of the short tights leggings knee sleeves a sleeve with a pad on the knee a shin sleeve or calf sleeve anything on the leg that's not a brace all of these things are in the package for each participant every item they wear in the package has to be the same color for each member of the team that participates all items must be the same color quick review of those colors are always black white or beige or the predominant color of the jersey package items can be black white or beige or the predominant color of the jersey all participants every item a participant wears must meet that color restriction and every member who participates all of their items must meet that restriction that's a summary that's going to wrap it up for today's episode i want to thank deandre for sending us the email initiating this episode of basketball rules expert i think it can provide a lot of value for other officials as well thank you deandre if you have a suggestion for a video reach out to us via email at bre at a better official.com or just make a suggestion in the comments below if you are a basketball official who's looking to improve to get better this is the right channel for you take a moment hit subscribe below and the notify bell as the brand new season approaches this show is producing two episodes a week so we can ramp up have our mindset correct with the rules of high school basketball as we do for each show episode there's a quiz back at the website 
You can find it at abetterofficial.com slash expert05 or hit the link above. If you want to be a supporter of the show, you can always buy us a coffee at abetterofficial.com slash coffee. The link is above. As always, we have additional video content for you here. We will see you in the next video. Take care.